So let's write the molecular formula, structural formula, and the skeletal or bond line formula for C6H14. So our molecular formula right here, C6H14, this is 2-methyl pentane. So on the second carbon, we'll have a methyl group. And pentane, the longest chain will be 5, the A-N-E. That means we'll have all hydrogens, carbons that all have single bonds. So here is the structural formula. Kind of had to squeeze our little methyl group here on the one, two on that second carbon. So you can see the structural formula has all those carbons and hydrogens written in. And sometimes that makes it a little bit crowded. We could write the skeletal formula, but before we do that, let's put a molecular model, kind of overlay it here so we can see what we're talking about in terms of atoms. So you can see how the carbons pretty much line up and the hydrogens, they sort of line up too. Here's our methyl group up here on that second carbon. That's the structural formula. If we wanted to draw the skeletal formula, we're just gonna draw the carbons. So we could draw it like this here. One, two, three, four, five carbons. And then we just draw a line up here to this carbon. And that's gonna look like this, like that there. Let's move it over here. So that's the skeletal bond line formula. And we don't write in the carbons, but they're right here, here, like this. And then we could put hydrogens on as well, because each carbon, that's going to have four bonds. So we could write all of the hydrogens in here if we wanted to do that. But for the skeletal or bond line formula, it's just inferred. You don't have to write them because a chemist knows that we have carbons at the junctures here, and each carbon has four things or four bonds attached to it. That's it. That's the molecular formula, structural formula, and the skeletal or bond line formula for 2-methyl pentane, C6H14. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.